Let's get into the news. Uh, yesterday, the Washington Post published a story claiming that Donald Trump forcibly kissed a woman in Trump Tower 12 years ago. Now, today, the president responded by tweeting, a woman I don't know and, to the best of my knowledge, have never met is on the front page of the fake news Washington Post saying I kissed her <laughs> for two minutes yet in the lobby of Trump Tower 12 years ago. Never happened. <laughs> Who would do this in a public space with live security cameras running? <laughs> you! That's who? You! You're the exact person who would do something like that! I mean, the fact that he went out of his way to mention security cameras <laughs> just means he personally destroyed that tape himself. <laughs> In the article, the woman said he started kissing me on one cheek and then the other, which is also consistent with the way Trump kisses Vladimir Putin's ass. <laughs> in other Trump news... <laughs> in other Trump news, after Oprah Winfrey hosted a panel interview with voters on Sunday's episode of 60 Minutes, Donald Trump attacked her on Twitter, calling her insecure. Now, I gotta say, guys, yes. This is it. This is the Twitter beef we have all been waiting for. <laughs> it's the leader of the free world versus Donald Trump. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. But, Oprah, don't take it personally. Trump would be threatened by anyone who starts a book club. <laughs> um, has everybody been watching the Olympics? Yeah. It's been amazing. <laughs> so incredible. And there's been so many highlights over the last week. But I've got to say, I think my favourite <laughs> just might be an American woman who was so desperate to take part in the Olympics that she used a series of technicalities to get onto the Hungarian half-pipe ski team, even though she can't do any tricks. <laughs> right? Let me show you what we mean. Uh, this is what a skier in the half-pipe normally does. Yeah, impressive, right? Now... Here's what the skier from the Hungarian team did. Like, here she goes, she goes up. <laughs> and she goes down. She goes up the other side. And down again. Up she goes, up, and down again. Now, here's the thing, I still couldn't do even that. No way. I don't want to say she's slow. She still hasn't gotten to the bottom of the mountain. She's still... <laughs> she's still... Now, here's how she did it. She qualified for the, for the Olympics by hand-picking specific events where there weren't enough competitors so she could finish in the top 30. So she sucks at the half-pipe, but she is an expert on the loophole. <laughs> um, and finally... <laughs> Valentine's Day has come and gone, but if you're still looking for someone special, I have good news, because a company has created a dating website exclusively for Trump supporters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to make America date again. Yeah, no, they are. <laughs> it's like other dating sites, except when you find someone on the Trump site who carries a torch for you, they literally carry a torch for you. <laughs> it's... It's a little different from Tinder. On the Trump dating site, if you like someone's profile, you swipe alt-right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? We're making fun of it, but I will say, this site gives you a real shot of finding love. It does. So, for all of you single people out there, give it a try. And just maybe one day, one day, you two could be as happily married as Donald Trump. <laughs>